Um, the first thing I want to say is none of you are Blazers fans. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you're just not good enough. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so it feels like magic. So I have an older sister. Her name is Hillary. She is very domineering, and I love her very much. Uh, and for a long time, she kind of functioned like my mom. We have a wonderful mom, but uh, Hillary, for sure, was the very maternal presence in my life. She's about eight years older than I am. And from the time I was very young, we had this really incredible like connection, synergy. We could like read each other's minds. Uh, <laughs> there was a very interesting season of our lives where we would lie a lot. <laughs> so, okay, so so she, okay, very quickly, so she's eight years older than I am. Uh, in the uh, after school, like weekend summers, I would want to spend time with her, and she had a very interesting job <laughs> at the time. She worked at a strip club. Um, and so at, you know, 12, you know, 13, I would be snuck into the strip, strip club and, uh, you know, hang out with her at work. I would not see anything. But we would have to, like, you know, not always tell the truth so I could be there. Uh, and so this this story is not about that. This story is about... <laughs> Um, this story, though, is about uh, when we were much older and fully outside of our not truth-telling phase. Um, she and I lived about, uh, I don't know, maybe two towns away from each other. I lived on a street called Bloomfield Avenue in Glenridge, New Jersey, woo woo, and she lived in like Irvington or Newark, New Jersey at the time. And our, it was probably like maybe a 20 to 30 minute bus and like light rail ride away. We were very close to each other. She had a key to my apartment. I had a, a key to hers. Uh, I had a cat that lived at her house most of the time. She had a bunch of stuff that lived at my house. Anyway, she would come back and forth quite a lot and we would spend a lot of time together on this Bloomfield Avenue route. This one day in particular, we meet this guy named Khalil, um, who is still a very close friend of mine. And at the time, my mom would, for our, my actual mom, would refer to Khalil as her son-in-law, even though we never dated and we're not interested in each other. She was, he was just kind of like the pinnacle for her of what she wanted me to be with. Anyway, so uh, I am still single. Okay, so, <laughs> and so is he. Okay, um, but Khalil and I had a very close uh, friendship and uh, you know, he had a birthday coming up every year. I'm, I'm a birthday person. I love celebrating people's birthdays. Uh, I love throwing parties, this whole thing. Um, but his birthday had come and gone and we ended up on the phone this one day in particular and he's like you know um I called him to invite him to a family gathering that I was throwing I regularly throw family gatherings my family comes over we have dinner hang out and uh we were on the phone and I was like hey do you want to come over uh you know whatever the day is you know two three days from now and he's like yeah sure um but in the same conversation he shares with me that no one had done anything for his birthday and I'm like, oh, that's terrible, and I forgot. So I'm a bad, <laughs> like, fake girlfriend, <laughs> wife. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and so I was sort of, I sort of put it in the back of my mind. A um, couple days go by, uh, you know, we'll say the event was on a Sunday, right? We'll say his birthday was on Thursday. We talked on Friday. The family gathering is on Sunday. So Sunday comes. And I cooked and I cleaned and, uh, you know, did all the stuff getting ready. My sister, I know she's on the way because she, like, called me or texted me. This was quite a few years ago, so she probably called me. Nobody does that anymore. Um, so she called me. I'm on my way. Okay, cool. Um, see you in a bit. And I'm cleaning up to get ready to receive my, my guests. And I'm washing the dishes, and it, I, get a, I see a text from Khalil, and he also says, I'm gonna be, out, be about 10 minutes late, but I'll be there. I'm like, oh, cool. But in the same moment that I'm like, okay, cool, he's on his way, I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot his birthday again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really not doing great. And so I'm like, what am I gonna do? And like, you know, I always have like candles, like in my, I'm that weirdo at restaurants that has like a candle. And as soon as I hear it's someone's birthday, I'm like, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I got candles, uh, I don't have a present. Okay, what do I do, what do I do? Now, on that bus route between me and my sister's apartment, there is, so there, I said earlier there was a bus and then a light rail. So at the point that the bus and the light rail meet, there is this 
amazing bakery called Calandra. And it is the best bakery, just maybe on the planet. I can put it out there. Uh, super Italian, you know, like everybody's, okay. Uh, unless you're from Jersey, you don't get it. It's cool. Um, who's from Jersey? See? Yeah. Um, so Calandra is the place that is just the best. Love these. They have great cupcakes, great pastries, everything. And so I'm thinking in my mind, sort of, and this is like all happening within 90 seconds of this one moment. And I think in my mind, Hillary, lit, I'm thinking this in my mind, I'm washing dishes, not saying this out loud. Hillary, pick up a dozen cupcakes from Calandra. Khalil's birthday was Thursday. Thought that in my mind, one time, just a fleeting moment. And I hear, so I, I keep washing dishes, don't think anything else, I'm, and I'm just kind of done with it. I'd say about 20 to 30 minutes later, my sister walks in my apartment, because again, she has a key to my place. And she comes in, and she's like, hey, Lens. I'm like, oh, hey, Hill, what's up? She's like, nothing. She's, and I hear some rustling. And I'm like, uh, you, know, what are you, you know, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, nothing. I just, um, I picked up a dozen cupcakes from Calandra. Was Khalil's birthday the other day? <laughs> and I was like, seems like magic. Yeah.